In this video, I will show how to do the independent sample t-test in SPSS. This is the data. Now, I have two different courses. That is, integrated courses and the traditional courses. And I collect the data for students who attend integrated courses, their score, and attended traditional courses and their score and I want to compare whether is there any is there any uh, difference between the score between these two courses so what I do in, in this case this is the independent sample case independent, independent case so what I do is I click analyze compare mean in the independent sample t-test and here you need to choose what is the test variable so in this case the test variable will be the score and then I want to define the group but before you define the group you must select which one is the grouping variable so after you choose the grouping variable you must the group so for group 1 you have to key in 1 and group 2 you have to key in 2 because the data that you key in here the cost 1 uh, indicate in the integrated cost and 2 in the, uh, indicate the traditional causes and you choose continue and then you press ok so this is the output that is show it will show the integrated uh, sample size mean standard deviation and the traditional causes uh, uh, sam sample size mean and standard deviation so before you test your hypothesis that to the mean what you need to do first is you have to check whether they are equal variance or not because the significant here is show two one for equal variance and the other one is equal variance not assumed so based on the significant here the test for equality of variance here the significant is 0 0.056 we reject hna if the p-value is less than 0 0.05 in this case we do not reject hna that means this data have equal variance so we find the significant for equal variance which is 0 0.048 so for this 0 0.048 the hypothesis now is no different between mean score between two scores and there exists a uh, difference between mean score between two costs is the alternative hypothesis so in this case 0 0.048 is less than 0 0.05 so we reject H now so the conclusion is there exists a difference between the mean score between two costs so that's all for this video thank you